Okay, this was a little impromptu, and I just got an order from some from a Facebook uh, friend for for one of these that he wanted to, wanted me to make him one, and uh, so I thought I would tape it, yeah, although uh, I wasn't really set up for ta taping, but uh, or uh, recording, but but uh, I think you can get the message. So good luck with it. Okay, we're going to make a, um, a little horizontal jig here for cutting uh, diagonal jig, I'm sorry, <laughs> for cutting, uh, I'm just going to cut some three and a half inch squares, this is a two by four here, they're three and a half inches and uh, I'm going to cut two square blocks out of it, three and a half inch. So, get ready for some noise here. these on a uh, I'm gonna mount these on a board where they it's the same width of this and uh, a couple of strips uh, that way when you set it up you carve right in here and it's on a diagonal so stick in here I'll show you Okay, <clears throat> I'm just going to go ahead and make these uh, equal pieces here and then this piece here is going to be six inches or so of the base, the base plate and uh, should work out pretty good. So let me turn on. Yeah. 
your uh, jig right there. Line it up center. I'm going to demonstrate it. I'll demonstrate it once I get it done. Okay, on the base we're going to put a, uh, <clears throat> a center line. This is what, six and a quarter, so three and an eighth. And that way you'll have a, a center line on here to go by. So these are be these will be glued on right out here to the edge on each end. Put them right in the corner. That'll be good <coughs> on each end. And I'm just going to glue them um, off camera. I mean, I'm going to glue them, but. Uh, And you'll see it, you'll see a finished product. Okay, well these, these angle pieces are going to go right even with the end. And I'm going to glue them on there. Like so. Right on the ends, even even on both sides with the corner. And you can see how I did that. I'm gonna put this little piece of board across here or wood just to keep an even pressure instead of uh, trying to glue that up, trying to uh, clamp that up. Uh, on the edge of that. So this is... So I'll leave these glued up for a while and uh, So this is flush on both sides. Flush here and flush here. And that's point oh. I'm gonna let this let these dry a while like this and that's basically what it is. Um, I'm gonna come back and put the um, the boards for your cradle on there. So simple thing. Plus I had that piece in my junk box and uh, <clears throat> it's just another junk box build, that's all. Look in your junk box, figure something out. Alright, well I'm just putting this piece in the center here to keep, uh, keep it even. Just put it right on the center line there. Line these up on the end and you kind of eyeball that down your center line. So. Sorry about that. That's a compressor. There's no such thing as a compressor that ain't don't make a lot of noise. But just going to hit it with a couple. Couple brads there, and uh, that should hold it. Well, this is a Japanese saw, and uh, I'm going to use this for trim the edges.
way they're not sticking up like that. You can take a little. I'm going to do that through all of them. Use your sanding blocks for uh, smoothing that out. And I'm going to go ahead and cut the rest of them off uh, off camera. And uh, I'll be right back. Okay. I cut those off and I sanded them. Sanded them to make them a little bit smoother there. And the idea here is to line this up with your bandsaw blade and a square piece of wood, not oblong or you know rectangle. It's, it needs to be square. And I just line this up till I'm right at that point. And. Uh, Just lock, lock in my fence here. Right about there. And this is going to be cut for cutting our diagonal pieces for uh, making Christmas ornaments and just corner carvings in general. Now, I'll usually take this. I'll take this, give yourself enough room there for your, I'll take this and run it up to here first and then I'll, uh, uh, then I'll just show the piece of wood through there and it'll make a diagonal cut and I'm going to demonstrate that right now. Turn this on. Okay, let's take this, let's just take this up about, a couple of inches, and then put the piece in there. Set it up, just set it up right to that point. Set this on. So it's got the, uh, it's cut down just a couple of inches to keep it. So you can push this all the way through and still have support here. You don't want to, um, you don't want to try to do it at the end here like that. You want to get it in here a couple of inches and that way you can go ahead and make uh, make your diagonal cuts. Any size, any size wood as long as it's square and uh, you can just move your move your uh, bandsaw up a little bit more if you want to do a two inch or you want to just keep it close to the to the bearings here and uh, and uh, adjust it with with your bandsaw and you can you can actually some people make this longer out at this side and they'll clamp it and that way it doesn't move anywhere and uh, that's probably a good idea a lot safer but I just do it this way and uh, it's, it's been good for me so that's it. That's your uh, diagonal cut cutting jig. You can make them any size you like. I just made this out of uh, half inch plywood and uh, two by four from the scrap a scrap box. So keep your fingers out of the blade and carve something every day. <laughs>